Today we're going to talk about Kenny Washington, the first African American to be signed to an NFL contract after World War II. Hey everyone, welcome back to History. I'm your host Eric Sheffield. Kenny Washington was born on August 31st, 1918 in Los Angeles, California. His football career started as a running back at Abraham Lincoln High School. During Kenny's college years, in 1939, he played for the UCLA Bruins. He was one of four African American players on the team, which included Woody Strode, Ray Bartlett, and Jackie Robinson. That's right, not only was Jackie Robinson an exceptional baseball player, but he was also a fantastic football player. Washington rushed for 9,975 yards during his college career, a school record that was held for 56 years. He also became the first All-American in the history of the school's football program in 1939. After Kenny's graduation from UCLA, George Hollis, owner of the Chicago Bears, wanted to sign him to an NFL contract, but he was blocked by the other NFL team owners. Because Kenny was blocked entry into the NFL, like many other African American players at the time, Kenny joined the Pacific Coast Professional Football League along with his friend Woody Strode, and they both played for the Hollywood Bears from 1941 to 1945. Now we're gonna go back and provide you guys with a little history on the NFL. Now during the 1920s, the NFL became pretty big, and from 1934 to 1946, there were no African-American players that were allowed to play in the NFL. Now, there was no written rule against them playing, but there was an understanding between team owners and coaches to not allow African-Americans into the league to play. Now, during the 1920s, there were a handful of African-American players already in the NFL. But as the NFL started to progress toward becoming a bigger business, a lot of team owners decided that the inclusion of black players was something they did not want. So, from 1934 to 1946, African American players were not allowed in the NFL, despite the fact that during those years, there were nine African American players that were named All-American with their prospective colleges. When the Cleveland Rams moved to Los Angeles to play in the then publicly owned Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, there was immediate pressure put on the team to be racially integrated by black taxpayers and white taxpayers who paid for the construction of the facility. As a result, Kenny Washington was signed to the LA Rams on March 21st, 1946, followed by his fellow teammate from the Hollywood Bears, Woody Strode, on May 7th. After five years playing professional football with the Pacific League and three years with the NFL, Kenny retired from football and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1958. After his retirement, Kenny Washington appeared in a few Hollywood movies, such as Rope of Sand in 1949, Pinky in 1949, and The Jackie Robinson Story in 1950. Hey everyone, we hope you all learned something new about Kenny Washington today. If you guys have any other African American figures you want us to talk about on this show, please leave a comment down below. Please like our Facebook page, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. We'll see you guys next time.